Welcome to Hashtag Road Trip with Rocky and History TV 18, day 10. This is the last day and what a journey it's been. Every restaurant and eatery that I've been to has delivered. Just like Valvoline has delivered over the last 150 years. I got Valvoline filled in my car on day one of this journey. And it has been smooth sailing all the way. And why do I say sailing? Because I'm standing right next to the Bay of Bengal on the eastern coast south of Chennai headed further south. Valvoline has slowly but surely been spreading all over the world. So you need to ask yourself, what's making your car run? Whether you take it yourself or send it to the driver for servicing. Whether you're going to be driving it on the smooth highways of India now, or you're going to be driving it off-road, you need to consider a trustworthy and reliable partner for your engine. And that is Valvoline. So whether you have an old car or new, Valvoline is going to extend your engine life and give you better performance. You get a, a better mileage from your car, you get better fuel efficiency, there's less sludge formation. That's something to think of. Or you can just stand here and look at the ocean and think about other things as well. How beautiful. So just like Valvoline, hashtag road trip it with Rocky has been unstoppable, reliable, trustworthy and has always delivered. And I have no intentions of changing that. Will there be another journey soon? I don't know. But what I do know is there's going to be another fantastic meal. So let's get you out there and see what this beautiful place is all about. It's a little treasure. I am at the La Maison Rose, the pink house. And where do you find that? 8 Romain Laurent Street, when you come down to Pondicherry or Puducherry, hello, it's me behind the tree. This is a beautiful old colonial French building. Uh, it starts in the morning at 8.30. It ends at night with the last order at 10 o'clock, 10.30. They shut doors. It's a place that is always packed. People love it. They enjoy being over here. And my favorite part about this place is it's quaint. It has this old world charm. It has a beautiful set of trees, lots of green, and it is always packed. Welcome to the Coromandel Cafe and let's see what this is all about. And this is the beautiful bar at the Coromandel Cafe. If you're going to wait, you might as well wait at the bar and get a few drinks. One, two, three, four. <laughs> it's going to be a nice afternoon. And the good news is that the upstairs area has been converted into a dessert lounge and bar. It's a great place to hang out, watch the sun go down and have a few drinks. Take a look, explore for yourself. And finally, here we are. The food is laid out in front of me. It smells so beautiful. The aroma is making me hungry just smelling all of this. But it looks really pretty. Uh, since we are in the pink house, take a look at this. This is waffles and Benedict with a pink sauce topping on top of it. It looks absolutely delicious. So let me get that over here. And you can look at the creamy seafood platter that you have over here. This is wonderful, it's got prawns and fish because Puducherry is on the beach, remember? Uh, so we're right next to the Bay of Bengal and you've got the beer, batter, fish and chips. Now it's really popular cafe style food over here. Mm. Oh, that is a really good fish and chips. And of course the eggs Benedictine which is my favorite with the bacon over here and the eggs. Mm. Now I begin to understand what the fuss is all about. Mm. The food is immaculate. If you're going to go to a cafe and you get this food, you're going to walk out really happy with a big smile on your face. And there's variety. There is this, my third seafood item for the day. This is the Malabar pizza. We topped with Malabar prawns. This is the special of the day, it's not on the menu. They keep changing that. Mm. Mm. The typical Malabar spices that you'll get on, on, on non-vegetarian eateries all over the place on top of a pizza, it's a really good idea. So it's lively. Mm. It has a great Tamil flavor. You can taste the curry leaves, you can taste the masalas. Very, very good. Uh, uh, take another bite. But let me tell you about the rest of the stuff over here. This is the mozzarella burger. And let's take a look at what's inside because the heart of a burger tells you everything about it. There is an onion, there's tomato, there's mayo over here, there's lettuce, there's more tomato, and there is this, a big mozzarella patty. Ah, there we go. 
Mmm. That's a juicy, light, airy patty for the burger. I would always advocate a meat burger or a meat protein, but that mozzarella burger hits the spot. I'm loving it. There's tea, in my case, ginger lemon tea with a bit of brown sugar to give it that flavor. That's the ginger inside, it's strong, I can smell it. The lemon goes in, it's nice and hot, and that hits the spot. Oh, strong ginger, they like it strong over here. There's uh, coffee, of course, and there is cold coffee. And I think I've covered everything except the sweet stuff. And I'm all about the sweet stuff. Ah. So we've got the tres leches dessert over here. You can see the tres leches sauce underneath. It's brilliant. And that is the Maison Chunky Blondie. It uses organic chocolate, which is made right here in Oroville. Mm. So it's hyper local and very, very good. And did you think I had forgotten about the creamy seafood platter? No, I had not. It has a rich and creamy potato base. You've got fish on top and prawns. Mm. The offerings of the sea. And it's delicious. Now remember, if you get out over here, you'll see these old colonial French buildings. You'll see streets with French names. They're called Rues. Uh, there's a lot of French influence over here and that has crept into the food. Thankfully, because French food is brilliant, at least I think so. So when you come down over here and try all the food at the Coromel Cafe and fall in love with the place.